I've been working with my brother Alex on some image processing Fourier filtering work. Here's some of the stuff we, we've been doing. Fourier transforms uh, and filtering are very easily done uh, in this uh, Matplotlib uh, platform. The computations occur quite quickly and this interactive uh, uh, system is quite easy to devise. Um, here is a straight Fourier filtering program that I wrote. So here's the original, there's the Fourier. We can uh, set thresholds on these uh, uh, two radii. Uh, only the one radius moves, that's what's going on here, all right. Uh, and we can lock the two radii together and move them simultaneously. And in this program, I also have an angular threshold that you can set to make it orientation specific. And we can adjust the angle and if we set this threshold like this, then it becomes very selective in orientation. Well, this concept of uh, having an angle and having a radius uh, had me thinking, wouldn't it be nice if we had a Fourier filter in the form of some kind of Bezier function, something like this. So here we have a radial uh, sinusoid whose spatial frequency we can change. Here uh, is an angular sinusoid whose spatial frequency we can change. And over here is a mass composed of a combination of these two that are either combined uh, uh, multiplicatively, as when we move this slider over here, or they're combined additively as over here, or some kind of combination between and you can set a threshold and turn this into a uh, Fourier uh, filter and you may recall when I used to work for you I was always interested what would it be like if you had this kind of a Fourier filter working on an image and now I've had a chance to play around with it so here if I adjust this radial frequency and this angular frequency and we can adjust the angular thresholds and the angular orientation. And you can see all kinds of very strange, interesting things going on. I'm still not quite sure what the significance is, but it sure is fun to play with.